Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this tutorial video, I want to address a problem that I've had a few messages about and a few comments about on my videos. And that is when people install my um, locked military containers mod on Chernerus, they have a problem where if they take away the contaminated tag in the map group Proto, weapons stop spawning in. So if you're like, oh, wait a minute, Rob, have you done a tutorial on how to put locked military containers on Chernus? I have, and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video um, and all the other resources I talk about as well. So what happens is people install this uh, code mod. It's very easy. You can use it for PC, PlayStation, or Xbox console, community servers. And just like on Sakal, around the coast, you get military containers that spawn in and you also get that have weapons in them and you also get keys that spawn in as well i think up in the military areas i think the way i did it and what's happening is people edit the contents of the containers and they say that the weapons stop spawning in so i just want to do that to show you that maybe there's something else that's wrong when you're doing this because it seems to work for me so what I've got here is, we're going to do this on my local PC server. So here's Daisy uh, offline channel. So this is the mission folder for my local server. And then if we open up the map group Proto, what you'll see is I have commented out usage name equals contaminated area. Because you'll know that in the readme that contains the uh, code snippets that you put in the map group Proto that tell the server what should spawn in and where in the containers and you can see usage name is contaminated area and military and people are saying when they take that out they get problems so as you can see here i've common commented that out for all of the um, containers so then what we're going to do as well is we're just going to delete the storage as well so we're going to make sure that this is a completely fresh server now one of the problems that might be happening is that sometimes when you create a new object in in a server or on a server whether that be with an event with the new map group proto or whether it would be a building say you use daisy editor to play some buildings down and then you add their coordinates to the map group pos sometimes what happens it can take a while for the game to figure out that there is a new object on the map and that object then needs filling with loot that does happen so if, for example i was to put a house an extra house somewhere in chernerus and add the coordinates of that house to map group pos um, and it was already referred to in map group proto if i restarted the server that house wouldn't have loot in it straight away so that might be the problem you're running into as well the fact that you haven't waited long enough but we've deleted that so this is going to be a fresh server so we're not going to run into that problem and then we're just going to start up the server like this. If you're unfamiliar with this, this is a local PC server. If you've got a PC that can run Daisy even badly, then I highly recommend you use a local server uh, for practicing mods, for checking things out that they work before you install them on your remote server. And as long as you bear in mind the limitations that console servers have, in terms of having to use the custom folder for custom files you know and you can't use steam workshop mods it's really good for, for that as well because it's much quicker to be able to test things on a local server than it is on a remote server so what i'll do as well is i'll put a uh, link in the description below the video to um, my how to install a daisy server so we've got daisy fired up so let's go to servers go to lan let's refresh this there it is so let's join this one set up the mods we've got some admin mods that are going to make it easier for us to spawn our character in and spawn the keys that we need and so we can fly around and we can we can find a container now also remember these are events as well so they only trigger when your character is close to them so sometimes if you look for the containers using uh, an xml a finder uh, especially in from uh, vanilla plus plus the admin tool you won't find the containers because they don't trigger till you get closer to them so bear that in mind as well and you'll see the way that i test this the way that i look for containers i'm literally going to move my character along the coast and then fly around in free cam mode in order to to find the containers and we're going to spawn in a key so remember so we've got rid of the contaminated area tag so let, let's see what we can 
what we can find when my character spawns in. This should also, this should maybe be a fix for um, uh, if I do this video for Livonia <laughs> as well. I haven't got around to do a Livonia one. Okay, so let's set God mode. Um, let's um, turn on Vanilla Plus Plus. Let's bring up the map. Let's go down to the coast. Let's go down, I don't know, somewhere like here. Make sure there's no zombies around. Turn on free cam. Right, let's go and see if we can find a container. There's normally some around here. So what we'll do, if we drop our character here, so, so my character is behind that bush, then we give the event a chance to work. You're probably saying, well, wait a minute, Rob, didn't you write this mod? Don't you know where the containers are? Oh, right, there we go, there's one. <laughs> so no, I can't remember. <laughs> so there we go. So now let's move my character there. Let's turn free cam off. There we are. So we've got a yellow lock. So let's spawn in a yellow key. Uh, let's put in our inventory. So I could just turn on it. Um, ESP and have a look, but this is a fun way to do it, isn't it? Let's unlock this. Let's open it up. And there we have weapons. Lots of weapons. There we go. In fact, what I found is if you take away the contaminated area, contaminated area tag, you get w more weapons in the... Um, in the containers now remember the problem with having more weapons is that in the containers is that means there's less weapons um, spawning in in other places unless you go in and adjust the um, values in your types to XML let's see if we can spawn in let's put our character there so I'm spawning the character in so the server goes aha there's a character there and it gives the event a chance to spawn in there we go so there's a there's another container so it's, there's our character spawn in. Let's see what color this is. Oh, it's another yellow one. Oh, that's handy. Oh, I still got yeah. Unlock. Come on, give me the unlock thing. There we go. By the way, if you're new to military containers and you're going, oh, this is a really cool mechanic. It is, but when you're playing the game, never ever try and open. A container with the wrong key so break the key there we go so we've got there's another weapon sg5k what else is in here so 556 uh, a compensator okay so what I've kind of shown there is that if you've installed my military container mod for Chernus or Livonia when I finally get around to doing that one and you've changed the usage got rid of um, a contaminated area and it appears to you that weapons aren't spawning in or nothing spawning in in the containers what you probably need to do is maybe wait a bit first to see if they start spawning in and when i say wait a bit on your server i mean people have to be on the server for for things to work um so so do that first um i would go back as well and any files that you've edited installing this and doing doing your edits go through and validate them with an XML file, if they're XML validator, I'll put the link in the description below the video, just to check you haven't made any simple syntax errors. And honestly, simple syntax errors are incredibly easy to do. Incredibly easy to do. It's so easy just to, to miss off um, something like that, and then all of a sudden um, the, uh, the file stops working, or to duplicate something, or especially when you're copying them and copying and pasting so say you're copying something from a readme into your map group proto it's so easy to paste it over another bit that you shouldn't have so go through and uh, validate all the xmls with an xml validator validate your jsons if you've edited them with the json validator if you're still stuck what i would tend to say is go to bohemian interactive's um, github and download the vanilla files again you can just go to say daisy offline channels plus you just click on code downloads it and that will download all the latest vanilla files and start again so 
use the vanilla files over the top of your existing file and then go back to my readme and my files and, and start again and just do it really slowly because honestly especially if, if you guys out there guys and girls out there who are trying to do this like on a tablet or a phone it can be so easy to, to, to make slight mistakes where you delete something you shouldn't have done or you duplicate something you, you, you uh, haven't done either okay so hopefully that's helpful and maybe guides people in the right direction um, and also a little bit of guidance there about kind of fault finding and I've been doing this a long time I'm not a professional programmer at all like you know self-taught with all this sort of stuff and I know PC modders out there well you're not really a programmer anyway you're just messing around with XMLs and JSONs well fair enough you know, fair. <laughs> but I've been doing this a while and I have made thousands of mistakes doing this and I still make thousands of mistakes now guaranteed I have to go through everything step by step really carefully making sure that i've done everything right and i haven't deleted something and i've i've gone back and normally it's a really simple error that you've made that you'll go oh gosh that was uh, that was really obvious when when you come back to it um but there we go that's how to check whether the military containers are spawned in loot and how maybe the problem isn't with you removing the um, contaminated area usage tag from the Mac Group Proto, maybe it's somewhere else. Anyway, if this solves your problem, please, yeah, say so in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.